What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. It's your boy, BJ. And, and we're, we're back, back like, like we, we never left. left. Thank you guys for tuning back in. We're jumping right back into The Sopranos. And I'm trying to tell you, Tony, Tony is the guy right now. I'm trying to tell you, like, <laughs> Tony, like, 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 Tony gets it done, uh, even under immense pressure. Yeah, he does. Even going through what he's going through, popping Prozac left and right, Tony gets it done. Tony gets it done. <laughs> Last we saw him, they were where? they were in Italy, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, and he kind of had like a, a, a interesting situation where you know the person that he kind of had to do business with was a woman, and yeah, and, and and I like how but Tony, he did it though. I like how Tony, I like how he showed restraint now. Yeah, I like how he showed some restraint. He didn't want to mess with her because she was the lady boss. Okay, he like you know I don't want to poop where I eat. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and and, and, she, and she got some real real connections too. Yeah. So yeah, I she mean, is. I'm trying to tell you. So I, I don't know where they go from here. So now they, I guess they're going back to the states. Uh, but last, last I saw Christopher, seemed like Christopher is kind of like lost a little bit. He kind of like dibbling and dabbling into into the drugs a little heavy. So you you already know when when someone some, when somebody starts doing that, they start slipping. There's a little slippage somewhere. Yeah. So, so I'm just I'm just hoping that 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 there's no chinks. There's no chink in, in Tony's crew. Where they can continue to keep doing what they're doing and keep thriving, because yeah. like I said, the business that they're in is waste management. <laughs> like like I said, it, it can it can turn it can take a turn for the worse at the most inopportune right. times. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, for yeah. Real, it so, can. Okay, well, we ain't finna hold y'all up. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos Absolutely. from Asian BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited and uncut videos as well as all of our TV series. Uh, it's a great time, y'all. So shoot, you ready? Absolutely, I'm ready. I'm ready, ready to jump back this? into it. Dun, 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 I'm ready to see dun, where this dun, goes dun, from here, for dun, sure. Dun, yeah, y'all. Let's ah. go ahead and jump into it. You missed your first session. They won't refund my money. I forgot. I gotta take care of this first. I got you. Hey, Is. How's it going, buddy? You look like you've been French kissing the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh. <laughs> hey. What? Hey, he, hey, he, hey, he, hey, he said he doctored his nose right now. What the fuck, Dominic? Three fucking weeks in a row now? Business slow, we tell you. We pay no more. On the out front. Come on. You will not be paying me in all ones. Good. You got money for blow, but not for us, huh? Chris, please. See? Drug addict, motherfucker. This shit's unacceptable. Uh-oh. Don't let that get back to Tony. You know what I mean? Three weeks in a row. Third time this week, Artie. Oh, oh they've been done already. About time you came back. What the fuck is that? Quail. Alabuco. Didn't I see this guy in the park this morning taking a shit on a statue? <laughs> 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 I'm not eating that then. So you, 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 were, you weren't trying to pitch it? notch mozzarella maker. <laughs> no. It's my cousin. I thought maybe you could hire him, you know, help me out with the immigration. Does he at least uh, know his ass from his schmutz? The actor is the instrument during the next... This is acting for writers? Sorry. Tunnel. <laughs> of course. You remember he was trying to write a movie? Yeah. My name is Chris McAvity. I work on Wall Street. You write? Yeah, yeah, I want to write for the movies. Goodfellas, shit like that. I had some problems with my screenplay, so I bought that book, How to Write a Movie in 21 Days. That was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you'll learn a few things. <laughs> Need you to head out to Newark for me. Friend of ours is coming in. Furio. Furio? What? To see what indoor plumber looks like? I'm making some changes. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. I do something wrong? Sunday, my house. Box of Malamos on the counter. Fucking empty. You think I don't know it was you? <laughs> I'm kidding you, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a bump. I thought you lost your mind. <laughs> it's me and you and Sil together. That's the new pecking order. What about yeah. Puss? Pussy reports to you guys, directly. Oh, okay. Where are you in the dream? I'm there. 
I could observe everything. And he starts to hyperventilate. And all the while this is happening, that song from The Wizard of Oz is playing. You're out of the woods, you're out of the woods. <laughs> Get into the song. He goes into a full-blown panic attack and he passes out. He crashes into this huge truck. <laughs> That's the tune. The fact that he can't see the road ahead suggests my abandoning him. What, Elliot, with the eyebrows already? The Wizard of Oz, what memories does it conjure up? My parents' house, watching it on TV, hiding under the blanket with my sister. The fact that she can't analyze her own. I know, it's like a therapist has to go see a therapist right now. Why do we love roller coasters? Scary movies? To experience the thrill of being terrified without the consequences. That's very good, Elliot. I'm concerned that treating a mobster provides you some vicarious thrill. It wasn't exactly vicarious. I had to go into hiding. And wasn't that thrilling? You smug cocksucker. Fuck you. Oh, now she sound like Tony. <laughs> now she got the attitude. See how she just stormed out? She wasn't telling him what she wanted to hear. Yeah. But I but I think she got she got all the answers herself. Yeah. She know what she need to do. I think she need to bring Tony back in. Yeah. Who's this? She's not here right now. I think she wants to bring Tony back I in, too. too. I do, too. That's why she can't stop thinking about him. Yeah, I'll give it a fucking message. That fucking bitch. It's a bank. She's trying to take out a loan on my mother's house. All right, Tony, calm down. It's not enough that she's living rent-free. She's got to try to squeeze money out of the fucking house, too. Fucking goddamn fucking bitch! Oh. God damn it, Tony! I'm sorry. Why don't you grow the fuck up? Because <laughs> he likes to throw temper tantrums. <laughs> he does that better than the best of them. Forgot to tell you, I got a job at Radio Shack. Product testing. Giving that phone enough for durability. <laughs> and then he does that in front of his son, too. Oh, he does a lot of stuff in front, in front of AJ. That's why AJ talked the way he talked. Act the way that, you know, act the way that he acts, too. Of course. Uh-oh. I hope Janet's not there. She finna catch hell. Guys, it's me. Open the door. The fuck are you doing here? I'm making breakfast. What? Come on. <laughs> okay. Let's have some coffee. Damn the coffee. Where my sister at? Right? No, he keep looking back at the bed. Like, I know this fool ain't sleeping in my living room. In my mama's house. The mattress at the shelter a little too lumpy. We're adults, Tony. And we got history together. Yeah. Israel and fucking Palestine. Okay. It's a long time. I hope you're not thinking about moving in here. Oh, he already thought about that. Look what he got on. Picking up where we left off. Grabbing blowjobs on my mother's couch. You crossed the line on me once, Anthony. And I held my tongue. Back the fuck off. All due respect. Respect? What the fuck do you know about respect? I put you back in business, you cocksucker. Did you go see Beansy? Why don't you make him some fucking eggs? Hello? <laughs> Why don't you go make him some eggs? Where do you get the ball to take out a loan on his house? What is it, his fucking idea? Like you could pay it the fuck back? I applied for the loan because I'm trying to make this place habitable for months. <laughs> the fact that he stood up worry, with man. that fork. I'll give you the money. This close. Oh, look at this. How's your fucking Harriet here? Stay as long as you like, Rich. She's your fucking problem now. Wow. Oh, man. Janice, Janice, Janice. Now, into this mix comes Brenda's husband, who's just leaving the market with a bag of oranges. What's the trouble here, officer? Your wife's getting a ticket. Maybe I can change your mind. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're dropping your fucking oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Chris. Great improv. There we have it, huh? Listen. No, oh, he liking this. Yeah, I feel like he, he like liking it. it. <laughs> Come on. The breast me. Nubogopo. Lil Kichai. He tells me nothing. 
Who's the Zip anyway? He's a friend of ours. We'll talk later. I don't trust him. You having a good time? <laughs> You're home. This is spectacular. Garden State's a freaking parking lot. Oh, Christopher, how you doing, man? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. Tony, make a party for me. He's with us now? Hmm. Guess I didn't get the memo. Would you have read it if you got one? Did you talk to that guy down at the uh, tanning salon? He only had half. Again? I wasn't sure what you wanted. I want you to send him a past due notice. What the fuck do you think I want? All right, I'll take care of it. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what? Leave it alone. Carmela. Uh oh. What do you want? I brought some cookies. A relative from the other side is here. I should pay my respects. Oh, bye bye. Damn. It's like that now. So, Johnny tried to kill her husband. <laughs> She's not feeling him, huh? Know what I judge? Wow. To be the trouble with you? Inferiority complex. That's what they call it when someone low rates himself. A little physical defect is what you have. Little physical defect? She's a fucking gimp, for Christ's sake. You were doing so good. The guy's a player and he's trying to fuck this broad? <laughs> Maybe he is not. You gotta read between the you lines. You think that's why he's the gentleman caller? He's a douchebag. <laughs> read between the lines. Why don't you fix up a drink on yourself, okay? Oh, he got, he got him some brown sugar now. <laughs> Things are going good. I'm firmly in charge, no trouble there. My family is healthy. So why the fuck am I ripping phones out of the wall in front of my kid? You got a lot on your mind. Because I'm the boss. Mm. All of a sudden, I can't breathe, right? It's like I'm suffocating. I get to the point where I fucking pass out. Hmm. Just like your father. What is? Not the same thing. My old man had anxiety attacks? In those days, we called it a condition. Did he go to a doctor? Your father? What, are you kidding? <laughs> what are you making a different thing? Wow. So now I probably feel like he, he got something that's hereditary. <laughs> it's my scene. Gentlemen call a guy. It's not me. It's not supposed to be. That's why they call it acting. I know. It just, I'd rather do something else. All right. Rebel without a cause. James <laughs> Dean. That might be uh, uh, along, along his line of, of work. I was going to say, that might be too easy for him. Right. Rubble without a car. He needs something with a challenge. <laughs> Don't give him that shit. They like it. Hey, what I tell you? He's gonna choke. So you know everything. Family of Malice lived in my pool for two fucking months. <laughs> he like, don't feed them that. Cause you. Yeah, feed them cheese puffs. What did he say? He said if I don't like to fight, I should find myself a Russian. He said if I don't like to fight, I should find myself a Russian. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That, that still was the wrong thing. You got a problem besides those fucking pants? <laughs> got a problem except those pants? You should mind your own fucking business. I make business. She's a nice girl. Well, you want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Yeah, it's the now you're fucking involved. Tony! <laughs> yes! Do something. Yeah. Oh, you let go! Call police! Mind your fucking business! <laughs> you! <laughs> Hey, that's how you do it. That's how you go about business right there. He is too tough. Tony has to calm down. He has to calm down. Calm down, down for what? We gotta turn up at, at every turn. We gonna turn just up. He's too much. He's too much. Sometimes too much is enough. Sometimes too much is required. Look out, look how he ran off. <laughs> Help me, daddy. You can depend on me. Whatever comes, we'll face it together. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit. You said you weren't going to laugh. <laughs> what kind of role is he playing? Baby, you were doing so good. Nah, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a bump. Bump this. Okay, so we are at the planetarium. Shut the lights! Make them go away. Gunshot. Jim! <sighs> I got the bullets! Look! And the cops swarm in. Let him alone. That's my son. Hey, jerkpot. What'd you do that for? You can't help it, son. You did everything a man could. <laughs> you, you, you can depend on me. Stand up. And I'll stand up with you. <laughs>
He was always cold. Dad, this is Judy. She's my friend. Seen? I'm freaking believable. <laughs> God, you're really good. He crying and everything. Was he? That was good. Did he? Oh. Oh, he really got into it. I thought he really got into it. That must have affected him in a different way. Maybe something to do with his dad. You, hey, you never know. Because <laughs> he got all into that. Hey, man, Crystal, he ready for Broadway. Yeah. Hey, sign him up. Sign him up for the leading role, man. I'll be outside. Oh, that's Mauricio? Still get tickets from the Greek? Right on the fucking ice. I don't bring my sweater. I don't trust him. Who? Pushy. <laughs> Look at this crew. Hey, Mr. New York. Come over here, you. Congratulations. Thanks. Beautiful. Say hello to Furio. Furio. <laughs> I said Mauricio. I heard a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Mr. Italiano Fabio. What's up? Of course. Want to give us a minute? Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't want to talk in front of you anyways. He part of the group. No, I don't know. I don't trust Pushy. You think Tony really gives a flying fuck about you? Sting of Oz. Fucking joke. Uh-oh. I mean, Silvio I get, but fucking Pauly. At least he's Italian. Try being passed over for a Samoan. <laughs> World full of scumbags. And look, and they buy they sell while he's sipping on a yoo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> he's my responsibility. Elliot, I abandoned him. Your life is in danger. Not anymore. Do you realize what I did last week? I stormed out of here like a child. That's exactly what he does to me. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know where this is coming from. Like Tony had that kind of effect on her? Mm-hmm. What is it you're not telling me, Jennifer? Something. I don't come on. Know. Come on, come on. I think seeing him again will be very therapeutic for me. It's not supposed to be therapeutic for you. This is your therapy here. Hmm. Do you have sexual feelings for him? Oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. No. She lied. I have feelings. On a personal level, he can be such a little boy sometimes. But that's it, the one with the palm tree. I do capito. But tell me again what I said. It's no just the Dominic who is the problem. He's the wife, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that always works. <laughs> that always works. Dad, he's going straight Terminator. What? Okay. He's taking it all the way to the back, oh, to the back, to the back. Oh, I oh, that's right. Should have known. Oh, oh, he's going to get it. Yeah, he's going to get it. Three. I, that's why I said, don't let Tony find out. And Tony found out. <laughs> God damn you. Oh, he'll never walk. He'll never walk straight again. He blew out the ACL, the PCL, the MCL. <laughs> All the CLs. <laughs> you go. We pay money. No, you're not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Start to see the put on. Oh. oh <laughs> he said you ain't worth. He said you're not worth two cents. Yeah. It's Dr. Melfi. Yes. Yeah, so. If you want. I could uh, fit you in tomorrow at 2.30. So do I put you down? Nah, fuck it. Can't buy it without it. There's no cure for life. Well, you think about it. I'll keep the hour open. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, I, I can't talk about this right now. <laughs> Not in, hey, we, we're trying to get to the money right now. Uh-oh, here come the cops. Man, he laid the law down, though. Hey, that was very necessary. A. B. A. B. Outstanding. 
You just saw two actors have an entire conversation saying only A, and the other responding B. Mitch, Christopher, you want to give it a try? Man, I need to try some acting classes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what it's like. Hey, let's go do it together. A. Stop it, Christopher! Wait, 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 wait. What the heck? He don't, yeah. he don't need, he, okay. Okay. I don't get it. Me neither. Oh, here, it's still oh. kicking him. I think it's broken. Maybe doing that scene brought up some bad feelings. Yeah, you think? Maybe he really reminded you of your father, and maybe that's why you hit him tonight. Oh, fuck that. Well, acting is mostly feelings, unless the actor's driving a car, sword fighting or something. You want to write? Feelings is what it's all about. Just How do you right. know what it's all about? I'm writing down orders at the fucking restaurant. Ow! Your whole thing with, with script writing, who else is behind you? When I saw the ad in the paper acting for writers, I couldn't wait to get it for you for your birthday. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's too late now. He, he didn't ruin that. Yeah, because he absolutely can't go back there. <laughs> no, he ain't go. Not that acting class. <sighs> he had a good thing going. Yeah, he did. Oh. Hey, 2.30. She, she kept the slide open for him. Remember, remember last time she saw him, she said, toodaloo. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look. Look at the legs. I know, she got them legs out today. You mentioned that you had a panic attack that led to an automobile accident? That seems like years ago. You mean you're so busy? Or you mean that you're angry with me for not agreeing to treat you then? I found out a little medical history. My old man had the same thing, panic attacks, followed by passing out. Interesting. Interesting. That's it. You're not gonna send me for fucking tests or something? Anthony, what is it you want to achieve here? I wanna stop passing out. I wanna stop fucking panicking. I wanna direct my power and my fucking anger against the people in my life that deserve it. I wanna be in total control. There's no such thing as total control. Of course there is. You want to be a better gang leader? Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you called me. You know where I was yesterday when you called? Oh, no. No. I was outside a whorehouse. Well, the guy that works for me was inside beating the shit out of a guy that owes me money. <sighs> Broke his arm. Put a bullet in his kneecap. <sighs> he told her that. How'd that make you feel? Wish it was me in there. Giving the beating or taking it? Giving it, probably? That's why he didn't want to answer that question. Right. I think so. I think he wanted to be the, be the one enforcing it, inflicting pain on somebody. Right. about to start over, I think. Oh, no. Really? I think he's been to scrap it all. He's been working so hard on it, though. Yeah, but he's like, I'm not a screenwriter. I'm not an actor. I'm a gangster. <laughs> and gangsters do what gangsters do. No. At least I would think so. Wow, he just threw all of that he in the He threw trash. it all the way. But, I mean, look, we see Tony. He back in the office. Yeah. I, I wanted to see him go back to Dr. Melfi. I did want him want him to go back. I did, too. But I didn't, think that she, I didn't think that she would call him, though, for him to come back in there. I didn't either. Admission is extremely selective. Get all of your academic and extracurricular ducks in a row. Leave nothing to chance. Hey, buddy. Davey. So who do you like? I don't know, that guy from Bowden seems to be making some sense. Yeah, I'm in a game tonight. Oh, ho, ho. you guys want to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Eric, they all done? Yeah, I guess. How you doing, Eric? Pretty good, Mrs. Soprano. All right. 
I hear you're thinking of what? Going to Brown, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a good school. Listen, uh, I heard through the grapevine that you're taking over your uncle's game. David, you're a nice guy. I like you. But trust me, this game's not for you. Stay in your lane. I don't want to see you get hurt. You know how many jack straps I sold last week. Not enough for this game. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what the why you're from Bucknell's got to say. Hey, right, you're going to need a jock strap, a helmet. You gonna right. Need a, uh, for this kind of game, <laughs> this, this is a full contact sport. Oh, he's back. You want to know what I'm thinking? Uh-oh. I'm thinking I'd like to take a brick and smash your fucking face in a fucking hamburger. I'm not... Don't worry. I know I broke your coffee table, and it's not going to happen again. But you'd like to smash my face. Not really. It's just a way of describing how I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck I'm angry at. I'm just angry. She's just trying to get a clarification. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mean, smash my face, though? And what the fuck am I here? I got the will by the balls, and I can't stop feeling like I'm a fucking loser. Mm. I see some guy walking down the street, you know, with a, with a clear head, like the happy fucking wanderer. <laughs> and I just want to go up to him, and I just want to rip his throat open and pummel him right there for no reason. Let's get back to smashing my face. Jesus Christ. I think it all ties in. Sometimes I resent you making me a victim. Remember the first time I came here, I, I said, the kind of man I admire is Gary Cooper, the strong, silent type. All Americans, all they're doing is crying and complaining, a bunch of fucking pussies. And now I'm one of them. A patient. Now, stop with the faces already. What do you got? <laughs> wow. No, no, that's it. I gotta go. Now, come on, Artie, another hour. I can't. Charmaine will have my balls on the menu. Cash me out. Rich, can I get another dime? That's the guy that's with the sister right uh, now. Count this chooch yes. out another dime. The, the egg maker room? Yeah. <laughs> Think she has a beautiful mm -hmm. voice. She do. Meadow, I'd like to talk to you for a second. I know you're disappointed, but it's just I checked off solo. Gudrun hasn't had a solo in four years here. I'd like to give everybody a shot. So you okay with this? Do I have a choice? Either way, I'm having the executive game. You know, your father and me started that game over 30 years ago. My brother Johnny was one keen motherfucker. Oh yeah. That's why he left us with Chichi beans. Your father left Livia with a package that could choke a fucking elephant. She's like a woman with a Virginia ham under her arm, crying the blues because she has no bread. And keep in mind that he paid the freight for your Uncle Eckley. That was a major fucking nut. Who the fuck is Eckle? Yeah, forget it. Keep thinking you know everything. Some people are so far behind in a race that they actually believe they're leading. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Who the fuck is Eckle? Eckley. Who is he? You don't know him. It's water under the bridge. Just know that me and your father looked out for him. Fuck you. Fuck Eckle. I don't got time for the shit. He was my <laughs> younger brother. Eckley. He was between me and your father in age. Eckley. Hercules, named after my grandfather. Hercules. What are you saying? I got another uncle? Sharp as a fucking cue ball. Yeah, I'm oh. saying. Your father and me had a brother you didn't know about, because he was... He was what? He was different in those days. What are you saying? He was retarded? He was slow. He was strong as a fucking bull. Handsome, like George Raft. They didn't understand these things back then. Damn! So where is he now? I remember my mother and my father arguing about my father's feeble-minded brother, but I always thought she meant you. <laughs> feeble-minded. What a kick in the balls. When did he die? Not long before your father. Oh, he died. Okay. Mm. Call your friends. Let them know the game's happening. He can't believe it. Some, it's, it's always something new. Oh, Rich. You got a problem? No, I'm just, uh, breaking your kid's balls. Like the pimp says to his hoes, keep them coming. Hey, Rich, that envelope's too sea shy. I'll catch up on it next week. It's no problem. I just got caught a little off guard this month. No good, Davey. It's just a stutter step. Difference gets tacked on to the principal. Uh. You know that. Yeah, I understand. I don't want to see your face at any of my games until you're caught up. Come on, Rich, that's not necessary. Guy hands you a light envelope. It's just the beginning. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know, but it's it's just... I know. It's just a stutter step. Woof. You don't want to get on his bad side. We didn't Not, already see what his bad right. side is like. Not him. And, he, and he, now he's starting. Right. He said the envelope a little light. He said you add the difference to the principal, which means you owe me what you owe me plus what you owe me now. Plus interest. <laughs> Ten pounds of shrimp. 
going to be some serious money there. <laughs> you see that? What is that? He put the matches in there. So the scale would be off. Oh, the matchbox off. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? I just saw you putting your finger on the scale. Where you going? Wrap that up. You empty the ashtrays. Whatever you do, don't engage Silvio in conversation. He could be a sick fuck when he's gambling. You think you think that actually works <laughs> on a real scale? <laughs> Maybe it, it did make the scale mess up. That's why he was like, "Something's wrong with it." Make a change coming. Mike. Hey, Mike. Matt. Tony wants you. Yeah, T. Tony. Got the mac noodles. Yeah, you want one? Yeah, get one of me, one of Dr. Free. Yeah, I'm in. Me too. <clears throat> I just feel like they don't know how to play games together. Talk about when they come with the cards and stuff? Yeah. Oh, they, they know how to play now. For some reason, no, I feel like this is about to go, go south. Paulie well, doesn't have shit as usual. Don't give anybody booze unless they ask for it. All right? Okay. See? These kind of games, they can get out of hand because they're gambling. Right. They can definitely get out <laughs> so of I'm hand. Like, yes. I heard Tony was here, Soprano. And there's money on the table. Look, look, look. See, he's trying to get in. He's trying to get in where he fit in. Yeah, but our boy told him not to come. Ain't this his game? Baby, uh, what the hell are you doing sure. here? Hey. <laughs> so, uh, what's the game? Seven card. You think I can take these guys or what? No, you, hey, should go, you should go home. This isn't a game for you. Come on, Anthony, let me sit in just once. I don't do business with outside friends. Come on, Tony, I'm a big boy. You need 5G just to sit in this game. Oh, come on, can't you float me? You know, short term. <sighs> don't say short if you don't mean short. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, of course. You don't have to explain business to me. Uh, yeah, we do. This kind of game, the stakes are high. This is my spot. I got no oh, he let him in. Not just that, but he came short. Give him five boxes of ziti. Good luck. Cool. Why do I feel like I this is something this is... weird about him, though? I wonder where this is going to go exactly. No help. Mysteries abound. Shut the fuck up and deal, will you? Clubs. So get a broom and sweep up Jack some of that shit over there, especially on the Silvio, all right? Perry King's bets. What the fuck could you possibly have? Incredible luck. Better check. Don't rush me, sunshine. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Sil, take it easy. I'm losing my balls over here. This fucking moron's playing Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe it. He's sweeping his feet. He said, why? Why now? What? Leave the fucking cheese there, all right? I love fucking cheese at my feet. I stick motherfucking purple under my flats at night, but I smell like your sister's crotch in the morning. <laughs> here, 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 go ahead. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> oh, look, Tony loving it. I thought yeah. that was about to go south real quick. Yeah, you saw you saw Tony go sit in there. Yeah, but see that sure guy, stay... his son is involved with, with her. Right. He was with going Mello. Over... There he go right there. <laughs> and he's playing with the oh, they still there. Oh yeah. These kind of card games go on for eight, nine, ten hours. A whole day. Anyone want to close the lights? Is that a game? <laughs> it we means, end. do you want to admit that you lost and pack it in? No. All right, yeah. cut, please. I'll do the best I can. How much is he into us for? About 45 boxes is eating. King of what? He grabbed another 10 while you were asleep. He said you okay. Five, oh. <sighs> Wait, it better not be. Look at this fucking See, look. lineup. Oh, shit. And it's him. Look. Uh-oh. Look, he's trying to hide his face. See, look. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. You got some fucking balls, you know that? I don't. I should stab you in the fucking eye. Let me fucking embarrass you. Outside now, I want to talk. I shot him the fuck down. He comes here. What's that got to do? You disrespected my game. I'm getting sick of this holier than thou act. Now send that little prick out so I can talk to him. No, this ain't gonna happen to one of my plays. <laughs> uh -oh. Richard don't be playing about that money. I'm trying no. to tell you. And he, and, he, and he's not happy that he can't do nothing about it right this very second, but he's gonna do something about it. He live by them old mob moves. 
Uh-oh. The old mob rules. Uh-oh. That's what he lived by. Wow, he was pissed. I'm gonna let you sleep one day. Then you're gonna get the fuck up and you're gonna go get my $45,000. No problem. Jesus, how about the luck on that Silvio, huh? Why don't you shut the fuck up? 45 grand? If after one day you don't give me every penny, I'm gonna send somebody down to your joint for 5% interest. If you don't have it, it gets tacked onto the principal. Listen, Tony, I had a good run there for a while. <sighs> He's a goner. <laughs> Tony, did I do something to insult you? Two days. Oh, we're gonna wash our hands with this guy. It's not looking good for him. That's what I said. He owe Tony and Richie 40, 45,000. He's a goner. Oh, almost 60 grand. He, he won't make it two days. You and I. You are the goddess. Do you mind? God. Trying to get some sleep. I've been working all night. How you doing, Eric? Pretty good. Sounds good. Thanks. Oh, Aunt Barb called. Uncle Tom's father died. Tom Sr.? <laughs> Disgust the wind comes. Knocks him off the roof. What? Go for a satellite dish. That's very sad. Damn! Found out I had another uncle, a retarded uncle, that nobody told me about. You believe this shit? Now that you found out that you have a retarded family member, do you feel better about coming here? What? Is it enough of a sad tragedy that you can join the rest of the douchebags? Oh, they're I, I know I, I know I recognize that cry. We knew we were bound to see them at some function. Crying and moaning. Just relax. Look at Betty Davis back there. <laughs> I, I don't think you can smoke in here. Who's gonna complain? Huh? Him? Hey, you mind? <laughs> you don't mind. No, you don't mind. I'm sorry about blowing up in your game. You had a line. It's your ball. You make the rules. No, oh, they've always been there. Now you get this. David Scatino doesn't pay you a fucking penny until I get mine first. Oh. That's the tax you get for raising your hands in my game. I get mine first, then you get yours. That's the way it's gonna be. Richie don't like him. He's starting to really not like him. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I don't think you should take any shit from him. I heard you the first time. Take shit from who? Tony. Tony put me back in action. He gave me 50 G's to put out on the street. 50,000? Mailmen make more than that. So what's this fucking doctor's appointment you had all of a sudden when my friend comes to see you, huh? Please, Tony, I, I'm, I'm doing my best here. I'm gonna make it all work out somehow, I swear. What do you got for me? Dad. Stand up. Oh. Because I just said so. Uh-oh. 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 Look at that face. Look at Tony's face. Look at his Tony's Oh. I'm sorry, Tony. Our kids go to the same school again. He don't get it. Ah! He don't get it. He finna get it today, though. I'm sorry. I'm just having some bad luck. Yeah. Just got worse. Ah! Tony. My luck's gonna change. I want something tomorrow. You want to stand there? I, ho I, hope, I hope his son don't see that. He better be glad Tony didn't find a pen or a pencil in there. He'll stuck it right through his ear. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look. He might as well go jump in the lake or something. <laughs> Is he at, he's at home? Eric, give me a key. It's mud all over the tires. Take him out of your truck. Oh, he better get rid of that truck. Oh, this is bullshit. Eric. No off-roading. I gave you enough chances. I didn't do anything. Eric, accountability is everything. <laughs> I warn you and warn you, Eric. I didn't I do anything. I warned you. I didn't do anything, Mom. Oh, <laughs> Open them. I knew it was a car. Asia. It's a sports utility vehicle. You. You got to be crapping me. He did not. You like it? This is Eric's Jeep. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but it's yours now. <laughs> Dad sold it to you? Yeah, you know, something like that. What do you mean something like that? 
<laughs> Willow not Meadow not going for it. Meadow not going for it. Why would he do that? Go ahead. You want to act holy to now? You go right ahead, but I'm not giving it back. Everything this family has comes from the work I do. All right, Tony, that's enough. A grown man made a wager. He lost. End of story. So take that high moral ground and go sleep in a fucking bus station if you want. Oh. Oh, damn. Not to Meadow. Tony. I didn't, yeah, but Tony, you don't take, you, you don't take the, take the car and then give it to Meadow when you know. Right, he been coming over there singing with her and he, everything. He just picked her up in it. Uh-oh. This is too close for comfort for me. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Let's talk. You're just gonna leave me here? Fuck you. Fuck your gangster father. And fuck this. Oh. Right before it starts. Sun and Moon to be performed by Eric Scatino and Meadow Soprano has been canceled. Instead, Miss Soprano will perform a solo, singing My Heart Will Go On. Enjoy the show. It's a lucky break. Look, look, he left. Mm -hmm. The dad. He like, okay, let's go. If he not performing, let's go. The tension is too thick in that room. He better <laughs> leave. He better leave. Yeah. <laughs> I love to go a wandering. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I thought somebody started playing it over her singing that. Okay. okay. Asia, Asia, what are you doing? That what was are you just doing? in the music, man. I was like, I know, but you gotta stop. You gotta who's stop. Who's back there doing that? <sighs> oh, snap. Okay, okay. No, you, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You're busting my balls over here. <laughs> I got a couple things. <laughs> Richie and, and Tony are not having it with the father, okay? Like, I don't know what he's doing. You saw how fast he got up when they said that the son wasn't performing? I, I can't say his name, but he left. He was like, okay, good, let's go. Right. We got to get up out of here because Tony Soprano is here, and that's all I know. Okay? But the thing about Mr. Catino, I think he, he felt like because our kids our kids go to school together, that we know each other, that that you don't have to, you know, that you don't have to, that you can give me some leeway. You right, can give but me I some, think that, some room, but he don't no. understand that again. And he told him before 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 he went there to play the card game that the stakes is high. This is a different type of game. Right. Like you like you're not just playing with a a a a, a, a doctor or a lawyer. Like you you playing <laughs> with the gangsters and you know. Right. So he, he didn't understand. Like I said, he he a rookie trying to play a veteran's game, and and he got in way over way over on his head. I think so too, and the yeah, reason the real reason why Tony let him in was because he used that whole like our kids go to to school thing That's together crazy. and that kind of thing. Yeah, but but okay, way so over on his head. yeah, and yeah. I didn't know like I just had a feeling that Richie was gonna show up, but that wasn't his game, which is the reason why he didn't just completely just go all out <laughs> go left. But the reason why I feel like he was there, the uh, Mister what was his name. Which one? The, the, the father. Catino. Catino. The reason why he was there was because he was about to try to win back the money that he needed to pay right. Richie. And not only that, now he owes Richie and Tony. But Tony not already showed him. Like, I'm not the one. I'm exactly. not the one. Exactly. And the fact that he's not going to be able to come up with this money, the guy at the Italian restaurant is not about to give it to him. He's not going to do that, especially right. if he know that Tony is involved with it. Exactly. And and Because if Tony finds out that he actually gave him the money... Then he's gonna have a problem too because he's like, How you gonna bail him out of a situation and you supposed to be my guy? Mm -hmm. You know? So so yeah. yeah. And not, not, that's not gonna but go not far just that he him. don't wanna take he wanna make sure he come over. He like I said, Catino, he he doing he doing all the wrong things because now he he wanna run around and he wanna try to keep borrowing money from everybody. Right. He like he's like one of those kind of guys. He he wanna gamble and everything, but he's not a good gambler because nope. he don't know how to bag. He he gonna always end up like, like I said, he won a lot of money up front. You saw that uh, all that money he won on that one card game. Yeah, and and then he lost it all, and now he's forty five in the hole. It's yeah. just like he's he's that guy. Yeah, he's that guy. He that, don't know when to stop. That, that <laughs> don't know how to stop. Don't yeah. know. He never knows when he two in over his head. Right. And, and now it's like now he taking now now you see how it's affecting Meadow and and his son's relationship. Yep. With Meadow. Yeah. But now because now here at the at this musical now they done. Stopped, you know, 
they can't even do their whole little piece, they little whatever they was going to do together. Right. Perform together. Yeah, no. Because, because of the car. But why would he do that? Why would he take the car and then give it to Matto? Well, Tom, he didn't give it to Matto. Come Meadow. on, Tony. Tony. He went over there and handed it to Tony. Like, here, <laughs> in partial payment to what I owe you. Like, that's why I was like, I thought he was actually going to go and try to sell the car and give how, Tony the cash. Not hand him a car. How much you think that took off the tab? Probably, I mean, 10000 I was thinking about maybe maybe about ten. <laughs> Ten thousand. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I guess we gonna wait and see and find out eventually. But yeah. but yeah, I but, don't know. But the last but not least, the the best part so far out of these two episodes is now Tony is going back to his psychiatrist to his to his beautiful therapy. He's sitting down with Doctor Melfi. And you see how she how she in, how she's in there. She used to sit she used to sit in there with the with the uh with the long pants on and a suit. Now she got the little skirt and stuff with yeah. the with the legs all out and everything. Well, I feel like low key though, she has like a thrill. So like how the other therapist was telling her, I feel like she kinda got like a little thrill into doing what she does in terms of like seeing Tony to see what he's going to say, what he's going to do. Cause, like, he, Cause he lives like a, a interesting life. Yeah. And so, then she got like that real, uh, you know, he kind of laid it on to her to let him know that how he was feeling about her type of feel like all that kind of gave her like a rush. A she probably never had a guy come on to her like that. Yeah. And the fact that Tony is the type of person that he is like, I don't know, you know, you see how, soft spoken in a sense doctor she she stays very composed she's very monotone in how she speaks like and it's just something about how tony like ruffles her up inside or something i, I think is what what really like keeps drawing her back into him that's why i was like burns, I just had her, a little feeling. burns her, her, her little internal fire up, yeah I, guess you could say. I just had a feeling that she wasn't going to be able to stay away from him not because she like even though she wanted to leave and Tony told her to leave, like I just felt like she just couldn't get enough. Like Right, especially the way that she, she acted like, when she was with her girlfriends and they saw him in the restaurant right. and she was like, Okay, and she was like, Toodaloo. Yeah. It was just, it was just a little different. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so that's why she had to go sit down with a therapist, try to figure out her her internal feelings and, and, and what she's feeling. And I think what she's feeling is kind of mutual between her and Tony. Yeah. You know? I agree. I don't know. I agree. Hey, I, I want to see how that develops. Yeah, same here. I don't know, but y'all tap in. <laughs> Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And you see how the mom is starting to come around too. She done started popping up at the little functions and everything with Janice. So At the funeral. Yeah, yeah, y'all. And then so, Janice, oh Lord, come on. Yeah, y'all. So, okay. Well, if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Y'all take it easy. Bye.